Hello, my name is Dallin and I am a third year medical student. Uh, today I wanted to talk about how I scored above a 250 on step one. Now I know it's going to pass fail in 2022, but for those who are still taking it, who still wanna get into competitive specialties or competitive programs, I just wanted to outline what I did that I found was successful, the resources that I used, and what I would do differently if I were to take it again. If you're interested in how to study in medical school, how to get into medical school, uh, or any of um, anything medical school related, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So I'll begin with the resources that I used. The first resource that I used was the first aid step one USMLE guide or whatever it's called. Uh, this is the Bible for step one studying. Most people already know this. If you don't, uh, here is what it looks like here. Um, I ended up using their online version because I found it easier to screenshot information and turn them into flashcards. Uh, so that brings me to my second resource that I used, which was Anki. I talked about that a little bit and how I use that for the MCAT, but it is seriously the second probably most valuable resource for studying for step one. It's how I actually committed to memory, uh, everything that I was learning from first aid. And then the, the next resource that I used was Sketchy. For I'm sure many of you are familiar with it, but it is by far the best resource for microbiology. Uh, it actually uses um, pictures to help you remember uh, certain things about microbiology that would otherwise just be rote memorization, whether a bacteria is gram-positive, gram-negative, and they have colors associated with each one. And I still remember most of these things, even though I took step one almost a year ago. Um, with that, I used a, this is the only pre-made deck that I used for Anki, and it's by somebody named Lol, not a cop. Uh, more than happy to link everything in the description below. The question bank that I used was UWorld, which is the gold standard. Uh, a lot of people talk about saving that to the end, but I think that's actually not a good idea. Uh, why would you save the best, most similar resource to the actual exam until the end? The explanations are great. Uh, now, for things that I did well, that I thought actually really helped me. Number one is something that I learned from a dermatology resident. I asked her, I knew she probably did well because she matched in derm. I said, hey, how do you, what, what do you suggest for studying? And she said the number one thing that she would recommend is to take first aid and follow along with it in your class. Now this is something that I didn't start until my second year, but it's something that I think you should start during first year, your very first block, whatever that may be, start using first aid. Now, what I also think I did well is that I ended up turning first aid into my own Anki deck. Now you can use other ones. I know there's like Zanki and other medical ones, but they had over 20,000 note cards. I ended up finding that I couldn't memorize anything because the volume was way just too huge and I hadn't written the question. So I found actually a lot of success in turning all of first aid into my own Anki deck. It did take some time, but then I ended up knowing things better because I was writing the questions, I was making the note card. It was pretty labor intensive. It took me about a month to get through the whole, uh, whole all of first aid, uh, but I do think that's one of the things that I did best that helped me score high on step one. The next thing that I think I did well is I started early. I started to end up studying the summer of my, uh, between my first and second year. Uh, this allowed me to get really used to the exam. When I would take MBME practice exams with my class, I would end up scoring in the 95th, 96th percentile. Um, compared to my classmates, I still wasn't passing the exam the first go around, but I still was scoring much better than my peers. Uh, so I think having started questions early really prepped me for how the exam was gonna be, it allowed me to get a sense of timing. All right, now on to things that I would have done differently. Number one, I would have started using first aid the first day and matching it with my classes. This would have allowed me to understand the high yield material, not only for uh, step one, but also for my class, which was heavily geared towards me succeeding in step one. When I started doing this, I went from scoring in the 50th percentile to the 96th, 97th of my class. Change number two, I would have turned first aid into a set of note cards from the beginning. That way I wouldn't have had to spend a month of valuable study time about three to four months out from my actual exam, just going through all of first aid and screenshotting and thinking of questions. Also, I would have been able to study for my exams much easier because I would have had this already 
made Anki deck that I could have pulled from and been studying all year long, really committing some of these things to long-term memory. So I'd be learning it. I'd be pre-reading for class as I was making these note cards, then I could actually study them, and then I would be retaining them for the long-term when I actually took step one. Change number three. I would have only used UWorld and MBME to study for the exam. Now, there's plenty of testing sites out there, plenty of questions. I think you can go through Kaplan, you can go through First Aid, you can go through UWorld, MBME, AMBOSS. There's Lecturio. I think there's, there's plenty, plenty, plenty of question sites out there, but everyone knows that UWorld is the best and MBME is the closest that you're gonna find. Why study anything different? Why waste any more money on any of those? I did the RX questions and I just found that they weren't as good as the UWorld ones. They weren't as close to the MBME. Uh, I ended up just wasting time doing them. I would have rather done UWorld twice than go and do other question sets. Now you'll find people who disagree with this. I'm just saying this is what I personally would have done differently. I wouldn't have spent any more money. I would have simply just done the UWorld and MBME questions. And I would have started UWorld earlier. Why would you wait to start the gold standard right before you have the exam? You should be doing the gold standard since the summer of your first year and you'll actually be prepared. And if you do it two times over, who cares that you've memorized the questions? There's gonna be MBME questions that are almost identical to the UWorld ones. All you're doing is getting in more reps, more practice, preparing yourself for step one. Change number four. Instead of waiting to take my MBME exams until my dedicated period, I would have started taking them three or four months beforehand, doing an MBME exam either once a weekend or once every other weekend, depending on how my class test schedules were. And this would have allowed me to really be comfortable with how the uh, USMLE was going to ask step one related questions. It would have given me time right during my dedicated to review all those exams and make sure that I understood uh, how they were asking questions and what I was getting wrong. Now, these are the things that I found successful. Again, as a quick recap, I used Sketchy, I used Lil Not A Cop Dex, I used Anki to memorize first aid, and then I used UWorld, and then finally MBME. Uh, I ended up scoring a 259. Uh, I actually felt like my best studying was done in February when I made that switch from trying to just do tons and tons of questions to studying note cards and then doing questions. Uh, if you have any questions or if you want to know more about my study schedule or how I would have studied um, differently, you can go ahead and let me know in the comments below or send me an email. I'm more than happy to take a look at your study plan uh, and make any tweaks or suggestions. Um, and one more thing that I would just like to add is that a lot of times people talk about getting the high yield and I 100% agree about getting as many high yield as you can. I mean, you don't want to miss those questions, but if you want to score above the 250, if you really want to separate yourself from the pack, you're going to need to know the low yield stuff as well. And the best way to do that is to use first aid like a Bible, memorize the whole thing, and you will do great. Now, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a like. If you didn't, uh, let me also know in the comments below.